All right, we're here with Terrence at the Neptune booth, and he's going to tell us about what's new at, at Neptune and with Apex. Yeah, absolutely. The most exciting thing that we've got going on here right now is a new thing we've got. It's called Apex Fusion. And what Apex Fusion does is it brings your Apex out into the cloud for you. Number one problem that we have with people with connecting their Apex is that they can't connect it through their network. They can't get access to it from outside. They can't set up their email. All of these things have been super, super difficult for us to, to help them get set up. Now with Apex Fusion, they can do it by just connecting their Apex into their network. It goes out, communicates with the Apex Fusion uh, server, and they can have complete access and control of their aquarium that way. It's pretty cool. I see you even have video up. Yeah, so we started last year by, by integrating webcams into, you know, into the, the interface, into the dashboard with the Apex. It's, it was widely used. It was, it was used more than we thought. We had multiple dashboards and everything. This year we've added it in so it's easier. You can actually go between uh, multiple webcams right from the dashboard. So you can have one maybe on your skimmer or in your fish room as well as on the fish themselves. I have a friend that just went on vacation. He had uh, them set up all over on it to make sure he could monitor it. Uh -huh. And uh, I was on call just in case someone went wrong. He didn't, but it was actually a really nice feature. And you, and you mentioned on call. Um, one of the cool things about Apex Fusion is we, we're going to have the ability to, to have multiple people look, on, look in on your tank. So you can have people that are set up that it's like a read only, right? And then you can, you know, maybe you're going on a trip to the jungles of Borneo. Mm -hmm. So you got to have one guy, and I'm going to pick you, that you actually get access to my dashboard to do things on the dashboard. That's pretty sweet. So, yeah, it's going to have a whole social aspect to it. You can share the information, you know, out on Twitter, Facebook, etc. cetera. Um, and like our last dashboard, it's got all the drag and drop stuff, too. So you want to change around the, the dashboard, you just come in here, you can drag tiles around. And that would seem really cool in and of itself, but the really cool part is all of this is responsive, HTML5, so that any device you pick up, it's gonna now read this. So you pick up that tablet over there, and you're gonna see two columns, right? It automatically does it. You turn that sideways, it's gonna go one column. Without having to download a new app, you go from iOS to Android, ham sandwich, basically, you're basically gonna work right out of the right out of the shoot with it. Excellent. It's pretty cool. So by uh, attaching it to the cloud, then uh, we have a, a link to the controller in the aquarium. So things like a, like a power outage or whatnot, would it tell me then? Exactly. I mean, whether it be a power outage, maybe even, you know, it happens. It's something with your Apex malfunctions. You're going to get an email right away that says, I can't communicate with the Apex right now. You might want to check that out. And, and that's a really cool feature, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, emailed my phone, text message. Yeah, text message, emails your phone. And you don't have to set up an email server like you do right now. It does it all for you. You just put in what your phone number is, you know, for your text, what service you're on, boom. So you don't text. have to set up anything. It, it's built into this, yep. it's simple. Yep, yep. That's, yep. I mean, that's no most important. No email servers, nothing. Um, one of the coolest things, though, is that the direction that we're taking with the Apex, with the Apex Fusion, because we have more horsepower now, um, having it being up on our servers, we can do uh, wizards that we couldn't do before with the built-in web server of the Apex. So the first one that we have a really cool demo of is the lighting wizard. Now one of the biggest dilemmas out there in the industry is that every lighting manufacturer has a different way to control their lights, okay? And it's confusing. Whether you're a service guy or you're a guy who just happens to have two tanks or you decide to upgrade from one light to the other, you got to learn a whole new way to do it. We've created a unified LED interface in Apex Fusion. So all the lights work the same way. You set up the same way, but you might have different colors, right, for your, for your uh, LEDs. And you'll see those down here depending. So for instance, if I wanted to go in and change my lighting, I can just move around these dots. You'll notice it changes to what row it's on. Each one of those rows has a different preset that you can set it for, that you've set up before. If you want to then modify just a little bit, a little less green there to make some custom. If you want to have uh, uh, clouds or lightning, there it is. If you decide, oh, you know what, I want to add another point. I can add another point in here, move that point, if I can move it, wherever I want. That's pretty uh, smooth movement as well. It looks refined. And it works just the same way on a tablet. That's the amazing part about it. A lot of people are, are skittish to say, oh, you need to have a native app, right? Because it's not going to work if it's a web app. We've designed this mobile first, which is a whole terminology that Google, Eric Schmidt came up with. And uh, basically right there on the tablet, you can, you can do it just the same way. There's no delays, no lags, nothing. Well, you know, all of these were originally uh, written for laptops and whatnot, which was, you know, convenient to, to an extent, but who, who wants to bring their laptop yeah. to the computer? It's, that's exactly the our tank. point. So everything we design now is mobile first. 
We design it for mobile, and we make it work on the, on the computer, that's great. But it works and it takes advantage, if it's a computer, as big as you can go, if it's on a little tiny phone, it's going to be as small as you need. Perfect. Is this a, a setup for the Radeon right now, or what light are you controlling? Yeah, this one's a Radeon. It's actually the Radeon. We also have over here the AI. This um, one right here? Yeah, the middle one's the Radeon. And then we have the AI um, uh, Hydra up here, which is brand new. We've got a new module that'll be coming out this fall. Oh, perfect. That'll control the, the Vega and the Hydra, and even the new Hydra 52 that happens to be over there. And then the third light we have is the is the Kessel, and that uses the standard zero to 10 lighting. And so I think it's pretty innovative that we've got one unified control system that controls all of these lights. Uh, really, it makes it easy, yeah. which is uh, the whole purpose of this, right? Absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah. We're Excellent. Tr we're trying to make it super easy. Another thing that we're coming out here with is a uh, is a brand new auto feeder for the tanks. That's a first for anyone, right? Yeah. You could, yeah hooked up to a controller. We've had tons of people asking us for this product. I mean, like over the years. Well, look at um, that. And the coolest part is that it also keeps your fish food dry, right? So it seals up when it closes up. You can, you know, set the you know set it up to feed at certain times of the day. If you, you can set it so that it doesn't feed if the ORP in your tank is too high, right? Maybe you have something going on, you don't want to further pollute the tank. So it's all integrated to everything else that you're doing. This is going to be a huge win, man. Uh, yes. who, who doesn't want that? Exactly, exactly. It's, uh, we're, we're really excited about this one, no doubt. So Excellent. we have that, um, and uh, in addition to that, we've got, you know, I told you about the AI wireless module, and we have another thing for Europe, which is the, the new EB6 over there, which is a 240-volt Shuko plug uh, version of the energy bar. Well, that's nice for the Europeans, man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. So, exciting stuff, absolutely. All right, man, well, thank you yep. very much for your time. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Bye-bye, no. guys.